Hi friends, counting and timing operation is one of the most important applications of 8085. Even counting is a common thing in our day to day life. Counting the number of people passing through an entrance or counting the number of wheel rotations are some of the typical applications of counting. Today, let us see how an H085 microcontroller can be used for this purpose. H085 has an inbuilt facility for counting or timing operation. It has two timers or counters namely T0 and T1. Both counter or timers can be programmed either as a timer or as a counter using T mod register. The timer is used to generate a time delay whereas the counter is used to count events happening outside the microcontroller. Both timers or counters have two 8-bit count registers called TH and TL. In order to control the two timers or counters, 8051 has a single register called TMOD. To control the timers or counters, suitable bits have to be stored in TMOD. Here, G indicates gauge. If we set G as 1, the counting or timing operation will start. To stop the operation, store 0 in G. To select the timer or counter, CT bit can be used. Store 1 to make it as a counter, 0 for making it as a timer. When CT is set, the counter counts up as pulses are fed from pins P3.4 and P3.5. Timer 0 is connected with the pin 3.4. Timer 1 is connected with the P3.5 of the microcontroller. These are the modes. There are four modes the microcontroller, the timer or counter can operate. Here for this operation, counting operation, the convenient mode is mode 2. In this mode 2, 8 bit or the lower bit THTL, the TL bit is used to count. The TH bit is used to store the initial value of the counting. So let us use mode 2 in this particular system. There is another register in H051 called TCON. The upper nibble of the TCON register shows the status of counting operation and is used to start and stop counting also. Here the TF bit shows 1 when the counter overflows. This bit will automatically interrupt 8051 to run an interrupt service routine which is stored in the predefined vector location. Since we use the present system as an ordinary counter, let us ignore this action. Anyway, TF bit will automatically reset to 0 to continue the counting operation. This TR bit indicates the timer running status. 1 means the timer will start counting. If you 0 means it will stop counting. Now let us see the schematic diagram of this counting system. Here we have the microcontroller 8051 
where we use the timer one the timer one is the pin number pin 3.5 that is a port 3 fifth pin the input signal is connected to this pin the counting output is sent to the LED display through the port 2 The external pulses are fed into the TP, T1. Initially, the count register TL1 will be auto reloaded with TH1. That is the uh, operation of mode 2. When pin T3.5 receives a pulse, the counter TL1 counts up. Upon terminal count FF, the TF1 flag sets and the count will be repeated from zero again. This is the operation of 8051 counting system. It's a very simple system. We, we have to convert the event as a pulse using a device and give the pulse to the port 3.5. In the port, there are eight pins. Let us connect this fifth pin, 3.5. This pin is actually connected to the timer 1. The output of the port 2 is connected to the LED display with suitable uh, interfacing technique. Now let us see how the system can be operated or run using a program. Let us use counter 1 in mode 2 as I already mentioned to count the pulses and display the state of the count on port 2. So this is the first instruction, move T mod register. This is the control word to set the counter 1 in mode 2 and also the CT pin equal to 2, 1 for external pulse. The next instruction is TH1. This is the initial value which is to be stored in the higher register TH1. This will automatically load into the TL1. Now let us set this port 3.5 as 1 because when you switch on or reset the system all the ports will be as output port. In order to set this port as an input we have to set this port. Now the loop begins. Set the TR1. This is the timer run bit of the T count register. When you set this uh, bit, the timer automatically starts. Now the counting value is stored in A because the counter value cannot be automatically cannot be transferred or moved to P2 directly. So we store the counting value into the A register and you move the A into the port 2. So this, now the port 2 sends the data to the LED display. The LED will display the counter value. Now test whether the terminal count is reached. That is the T or F1 flag will be set when the counter overflows. Till then this particular loop repeats. Now the next instruction is CLR TR1. This is to reset or stop the counter 1. Now this is the flag. We have to reset the flag also. Again the program goes to the counting process to be repeated. Again set the starting the counter. This process will repeat. Uh, the counting will be repeated indefinitely. So this program will count the number of people passing through an entrance or the number of wheel rotations or any other event after converting into pulses. That event has to be converted to pulses using some sensors or detectors. Now I give an assignment to you. Develop a scheme to count an external pulse using 8051 microcontroller. 
and also you write a program for counter zero in mode 2 to count the pulses and display the count in a two digit led display connected in port 0 in the previous exercise we use counter 1 here you use counter 0 and also in the previous exercise we use port 2 for sending the count to the LED port. Here you have to use port 0. You give suitable change to the above system and you submit the assignment to me. Thank you very much for watching this video. Goodbye till we meet again.